And we also used about 2,000 candy canes, 1,938 to be exact. But the residents of Whoville have to put up more than just a Grinch. You see here in the back lot, they got a kooky next door neighbor. Now that goes by the name of Norman. Bates. Norman Bates is back to normal. But mother's off the rock again. Anyway, there's Norman right there. What's he up to? Hey, Norman. Hey, Norman. We all go a little mad sometimes. Okay, well, he's probably got stuff here. Probably just cleaning up the cabins today. It's like kind of a slow day. Oh, wow. Okay, this is awkward. Norman! Buddy! How's it going? That good, huh? We're gonna go now, okay? So, uh, say hi to mom for me, give her my love. She's creepy. Don't make eye contact, we're just going along. Yeah, take pictures, he likes that. <laughs> He does not believe in repeat business, just not his business philosophy, it's just... <laughs> Coming up with the most impressive movie sets ever created, a spectacular crash site from Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. I'm going to take you right in the heart of this colossal set, we're going to stop our tram for a few moments, let you stand up and get some pictures, so get your cameras ready. That is what remains of the neighborhood where Tom Cruise hides out in the film. By the way, that is an actual real airplane which was destroyed specifically for this scene. The airplane press site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around a vision that Stephen had. For, yeah, to sit down to talk about the war in the world. I thought, what if the 747 went down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. You're doing good. Keep doing something. That's right. Listen, I want you to close your eyes, okay? Stand close. Okay. Okay. Robbie, get in. Get in. Yeah, that car alarm wasn't on yesterday. Hey, look, there's a bra right there. <laughs> like I said before, this set for War of the Worlds was one of the largest That's ever constructed. Funny. But despite the use of these life-size realistic sets, the film actually featured over 500 effect shots, which is one that Mr. Spielberg had ever used before. Over here on the right hand side is Cabin that looks familiar. This is the cabin from the great outdoors starring John Candy and Dan Aykroyd. But you're probably wondering, well, Bill, what on earth is that big blue yeah. backdrop like that? It's got a large uh, pit there in front of it. That's actually what we call Falls Lake. Falls Lake has been used uh, for uh, movies like Indiana Jones, The King of the Crystal Skull, Inception, and also uh, the upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean on stream.